fate of Michael Gargiulo. He was convicted of killing and mutilating two women and attacking a third. CBS 2's Randy Page was there as that sentence was handed down. Convicted serial killer Michael Gargiulo was led into the courtroom this afternoon in civilian clothes for what could be the last time. The only question to be answered, should he be put to death? Guilty of the crime of first degree murder. The jury first spoke back in August when they found the 43-year-old killer dubbed the Hollywood Ripper guilty for the 2001 murder of Ashley Ellerin in her Hollywood home. You may remember she was preparing for a date that night with actor Ashton Kutcher when she was viciously stabbed to death after she got out of her shower. He was also found guilty for the 2005 murder of Maria Bruno in her El Monte apartment. Gargiulo's 34-year-old neighbor was stabbed to death and mutilated. And he was found guilty for the attempted murder of 26-year-old Michelle Murphy, who was assaulted as she was sleeping in her Santa Monica apartment and fought off her knife-wielding attacker, causing Gargiulo to leave a bloody trail with his DNA that led from her apartment. Michelle Murphy was an important prosecution witness who told the jury she often thinks of the young women who did not survive Gargiulo's vicious attacks. It just destroys me, she testified. Today, the 12 jurors that decided his guilt. We, the jury, having found the defendant, Michael Gargiulo, guilty of first degree murder. Rendered their final verdict. Fixed the penalty at death. All 12 jurors and the alternates declined to speak to us today, but I did have a conversation with Michael Gargiulo's attorney, Dan Nardoni. He said he's extremely upset and angry because he believes his client is mentally ill. And he says it is wrong to put someone who is mentally ill to death. In downtown Los Angeles,